Oh, Willie, I, I want you to see this. Look, here, the very first Christmas card we ever got. From our good friends at the gas company. <laughs> oh, that was a good first Christmas, wasn't it? We relaxed, we, we stayed in bed late. It was too cold to get up. Our friends at the gas company turned off the heat. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> He knows when we're awake. It's the day before Christmas. I've hidden all the eggs. Al, we hide eggs at Easter, not at Christmas. Oh, that's right. Christmas is when we carve the pumpkin. Oh, you two get these holidays straightened out. I think I'll just go make breakfast. Not necessary. I already made breakfast. Sloppy Joes and fiberglass. <laughs> I'll just go find the eggs. Why did you uh, make us breakfast? Because of the list. What list? Santa's. You know, the fat guy that dresses in velvet? <laughs> I found out that he watches everything you do, writes it down, and if your naughties outnumber your nices, you don't get toys. <laughs> so you made us breakfast? Can't hurt. Oh, oh, and I've got another surprise for you. Yeah. Willie, our Christmas tree! Oh, what have you done? I don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> Alf, you cut our tree in the firewood. <laughs> You're welcome. Let me see if I've got this reindeer thing straight. There's, uh, there's Dasher, Dancer, Comet, Cupid, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. No, it's Prancer, Dancer, Vixen, Blitzen. Yui, Dewey, and Louie. No, those are ducks. Then how do they pull the sled? <laughs> Okay, the lights are ready. No, all we need is a tree. Well, your dad should be here with a new one soon. What's taking him so long? Oh, you know your father. He has to find just the perfect tree. Well, I hope he makes it back before it snows. It's gonna snow me! No, it's not. Sure it is. It always snows at Christmas. I saw it on TV. All the stuff floats down and covers the whole town, and people go sledding and make snowmen. Then Santa slides in on a rotary shaver. Al, it doesn't snow in this part of the state. Wait a minute. I saw snow on Mr. T's Christmas special. And they tape in Burbank. Mom, I found another egg. Oh, Al, you said you got them all. All but that one, I swear. Here's one more. And the one in the philodendron. Oh, hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Hi, Jack. Box. Hi, honey. Where's the tree? Where's the tree? The tree. The the box. Uh, let, let me just explain. Uh, wh why are you holding eggs? Didn't you get a tree? Oh no. I mean yes. I I I mean yes. Let's start with a simple question. What's your name? <laughs> please, please let me try to explain this my way. You see, I went to every lot in town. I found lots, empty lots, except one where this man named Fahid had just this one tree left. So where is it? He was auctioning it off to the highest bidder. I dropped out when the price got to $100. I have my pride. 
And we have no tree. We have a tree. We have a Christmas tree. And it's right here. Behind the box? It's in the box. A fake tree. It's a lifelike simulated tree, yes. What do you do, just add water? <laughs> no, we put it together, together. Yeah, it, it'll be a fun family project. <laughs> and it comes with a can of simulated snow. If you'd gotten two cans, we could have made a simulated snowman. <laughs> 125, what does that mean? $125, that's the price. Is my math way off, or is that more than you would have paid Fahid? It's more, but it's less. I'm talking to Karnak. <laughs> it's more now, but it will be less, because you see, this tree is guaranteed for 25 years. So, uh, we're gonna be stuck with this thing for over a quarter of a century. <laughs> when you see it assembled, it'll be fine. You'll see. I agree, I think a fake tree is fine. Well, this whole thing stinks, if you ask me. Nobody's asking you. Well, I'm not waiting for an invitation. <laughs> First, you drop the fake snow on me. Then you come waltzing in here with this miserable excuse for a tree. May I remind you, it was you who chopped up our real tree? I knew you'd bring that up. <laughs> There's people out there singing. <laughs> when the hey, you want me to get rid of them? No, no, Alf, they're caroling. Then why are they singing? <laughs> Kevin's out there! Yeah! And Melissa! Hi! Can I go with them? Oh. Well, I don't see why not. Let's all go. Yeah. <sighs> Honey, let's go. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just... Uh, no, you know what? I, I want to stay here and, and, and assemble the tree. I'll catch up with you at the manger by the gas station. Well, honey, I don't want you to miss the caroling. Oh, I'm not going to miss the caroling. <laughs> no, no. This tree isn't going to take long to put together, and, and then we'll all decorate when you get back. OK, we'll, we'll see you there. OK. Bye. You really going to let Brian go caroling? Well, sure, why not? Well, on Melmac, caroling was definitely not for children. How come? Well. You'd have to know Carol. <laughs> Step one, paint the trunk green. Paint not included. I think I'll be able to handle this myself. All right, you're on your own. Pretend I'm not here, just like I'm doing with that tree. <laughs> well, look at that. Four inches of snow in Clayton, Georgia. Oh, darn, now I'll have to tape it. 12 inches in Buffalo. I should have bought a real tree. It's only once a year. I could have paid the money. Whoa. Six inches of snow in the Angeles Forest. Now there's no more real trees. The lots are closed. The Angeles Forest. Yeah, they have snow. Everyone has snow but the Tanners. No, Alf, we used to go there, Kate and I. We used to go there every year to a tree farm. We cut down our own tree. Alf, that's the answer. It's only an hour away. I know the exact spot. I can cut down a tree, surprise the family. Yeah, and they've got snow. Let's go. <laughs> what do you mean, let's? Hey, you're not going to deny me the one chance I'll ever have to see snow, are you? Well, I, I, I guess it's Christmas Eve. There's no one on the road. Why not? Great. I'll warm up the car. I'll just leave a note. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. You, you're not warming up the car. No, no. Hey, you get the chainsaw, fill it with gas. No problem. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> the spot uh, where you used to cut your tree. Have you been there in person or just in your mind? <laughs> we would have found the spot long ago if I'd been holding the map. This place is barely on the map. I think we just passed the Donner Party. We'll find the spot. We'll find it soon. It's been two hours. By now, the family will be worried sick about me. What, do you want to go home? Yes. I mean, I haven't even seen that snow you promised. Just mud. I never promised snow. You did. Oh, yeah. You promised trees. All right, you win. We'll turn around to the next road. We'll go home. I'll work on the plastic tree until it's finished. Great. We'll have Christmas in March. <laughs> Just tell me the next road is, OK? Fine.
All right, there's a, there's a road coming up right now. Where? Uh, up ahead. Where? Uh, there it is now. Turn here, quick. Uh, are you sure that right. doesn't yes, look like a road? Yes, yes, right here. I'm sure. I'm positive. All right. Yeah. No, wait. <laughs> Fine, now we're stuck. If I'm not home before Santa gets there, I'll sue you. Anybody? Where are they? I don't know. See? I told you this is how it's gonna look. <laughs> I'm sure Dad isn't finished with it yet. I wonder where they are. Here we go. Oh, they went to cut down a real tree. Mom, they've been gone a long time. They went to McConnell's tree farm. You know, we used to cut our Christmas tree down there every year. Of course, we got lost there every year, too. <laughs> Knock, knock. Guess who? Mr. Akmanek. How is everybody? Oh, well, actually, we're, uh, we're, we're fine, Trevor. Come on in. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Trevor. Gosh, I love this holiday. Goodwill, visiting with the neighbors. Sharing a little eggnog? Sharing a little eggnog? Would you like some eggnog, Mr. Akmanek? If it's not too much trouble. I'll get you some. Uh, heavy on the brandy. I know. <laughs> yeah. Place looks great. Oh, thank you. Beautiful decorations. Stockings hung by the chimney with care. What the hell is this? It's a Christmas tree. I thought it was a coat rack. <laughs> OK, I put the board into the wheel, and I'm going to push. So when I say now, you release the brake and press the accelerator, OK? Do what? Release the brake and press the accelerator. OK. Turn it on, turn it on. Thank you. Now we are completely stuck. How long till spring? This is just terrible. I'm stranded on Christmas Eve. Yeah. This would never happen to Sonny Crockett. What? It wouldn't. He has a car phone. He can call for help. I'd love to do that, Alf. I'd love to be Superman. Then I could fly out of here. Well, now you're being silly. <laughs> A whisker for your thoughts. <laughs> On Melmac, that's how you get someone to open up. Oh, I was just thinking about what's being Christmas. Not having a tree. This sounds like it's going to be sentimental. No. Mind if I turn on some music? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know, even when I was a kid, I think the most important thing was that we had that tree, a real tree. My dad used to bring it home on Christmas Eve, and we all decorated the whole family. We'd all pitch in me and my brother, my Uncle Doug. Incidentally, my condolences. Oh, thanks. You know, sometimes there wasn't enough money to buy presents. But there always was that tree, a real tree. We'd keep that tree up until every last needle was gone. I remember one fourth of July. Mind if I switch on to the ball game? <laughs> you just, you don't get it, do you? Sure I do. I'm just trying to keep from crying. <laughs> Let's just uh, sit here and be quiet, okay? Okay. Being quiet. 
waiting patiently, saying nothing. How'd your Uncle Doug die? He was talking too much, and somebody hit him. Fine. Back to quiet. We'll just sit here and listen to the mud. Everything looks so beautiful. Yeah, I can't wait for Dad to get here with the tree so we can decorate it together, like we do every year. Nothing is as much fun without him as it is with him. Oh, yes, he is an excellent husband and father. That must be him now. I'll get the door. No, let me. Why don't we all go? <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. What a beautiful tree. Oh, Dad, it's even more beautiful than last year. Oh, you really outdid yourself. Thank you. Wherever did you get it? Fahid gave it to me. Absolutely free. He's such a nice man. Now we can decorate it. Isn't this great? Two perfect kids, a beautiful wife, a big tree. Could anyone want more? I agree. It really is a wonderful life. How could it not be? I mean, it's not like we've got an alien living with us or anything. Oh, my dad, why would you say a thing like that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Brian, why don't you get the cranberries and popcorn? I'll get the tinsel. Come on, Brian. Don't forget the star. Oh, excuse me, dear. But doesn't the tree lean a little bit too much to the left? Oh, I don't think so. It looks fine to me. <laughs> well, it's not fine to me. Not fine at all. I'd better call the tree repairman. <laughs> Operator, get me the tree repairman. The tree repairman? I don't think there's any such thing as a... He's on his way. Maybe that's him now. <laughs> but, but we don't need any... Tree repairman! <laughs> Oh, so you got a leaner there. Oh, my God, it's him. Kate, don't let him touch the tree. Relax, pal. I'll only be a minute. <laughs> what are you doing here? This is my dream. You can't be in it. Oh, whoops, here, hold this. Get away from my tree! Ah, uh, here we go, lady. I found the problem with your tree. It's a fake. You bought a fake tree? Willie, you should be ashamed. But it's, it's not a fake. I mean, it wasn't until he got here. I can't fix this here. I'm going to have to take it into the shop. <laughs> Look at our perfect Christmas. It's unraveling. Your tree should be ready around Easter. But call first. Here's your stuff. You're not taking my tree. I want 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 my tree. Lighten up, uh, Willie. You got it. <laughs> well, what, what's going on here? Nothing. I just loaded a tree into the car. Well, where did you get it? Think, Willie. Where do we get trees? You mean you went out of the woods, cut down this tree for me? Isn't that what we came here for? Oh, I, I don't know what to say. Well, you better say it quick. There's a forest ranger headed this way. He must have heard the chainsaw. Well, at least... At least we're going to get help, and we're going to get home, and we're going to get fined. <laughs> Willie! Willie, look! It's snow. Snow! I finally get to see snow! You in there. I want to talk to you about that tree. Merry Christmas, Al. Merry Christmas, Willie. Yes. This is great, Brian. It's for giving eye exams, right? No. You look into it and push the button. It's Sylvester and Tweety. Ha! 
Die, cat, die! Yeah! <laughs> what a great Christmas. Yeah, and we ended up with a really beautiful tree. It should be. It cost me $367, what with the fine and the towing. <laughs> Who are these presents for? Oh, I almost forgot. A few tokens from the old Alpha. Well, you got us presents? Alf, you can't shop. This is America, Kate. Everybody can shop. I used a catalog. A catalog? From where? The hardware Hamlet. My account? Who else's? Look, Sal. Look, a staple gun. Need a leaf blower. Goodness. A, a rotary sander for me. Weather stripping. My, my. It is the thought that counts. And the important thing is we're all together. In the words of the immortal, St. Frosty the Snowman, God bless us all, everyone.